On this episode of RC Kicks, we're wrapping up the project of the MST J45C. So let's crack on and get it done. Hi and welcome to IC Kicks. Okay, on today's show, well, we're gonna finish up the stunning body that comes with this kit. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really looking forward to doing that. It doesn't look too difficult. It's basically one color, mask off the windows, so it shouldn't take that long. I guess you have to mask off the lights as well, but again, shouldn't take too long. The back section is basically all done for you. You just got to screw it all together and then bolt the whole lot together at the end. Not so bad. Still waiting on bearings and a motor. So we're still running in the stock form as of today, but I'm going to crack on and get it done because it's just taking too long and I want to take it out and drive it. And then we'll probably do another video later on where I've done the full upgrades. Currently I've actually got TRX four wheels on. I had a set of spare ones. These are much wider than the stock ones. I will try both and we'll see what the difference is. I do like these. They seem to be more scale for this rig. The others seem to be much thinner and lots taller. So we're going for these and I know these tires are great and obviously I had them so there was no cost. Um, I've modified them slightly by cutting off the little knobby bits. That's just something a lot of people do with the stock TRX4 tires. Right, let's crack on, cut the body out and then clean it mask up the windows and then we're going to spray it. Now the color I'm going to spray it is there's actually a kit you can buy that's already built, not like this one which I had to build, and the stock color for that one is red and actually I really like it. So even though I built this kit I'm going to go with the red, it's just PS2 flat bright red and then I'm going to back it in white and then after that I'll back it in black because I want it to really pop and be vibrant and I just think the red goes really well with the black that you get from the back and obviously all the black from all the axles and stuff like that. Right, let's crack on, get it done. It is a good looking thing, this kit. Right, in a blink of an eye, we are done. I've cut it out. What a pain that was, the bit around the front. This polycarbonate body around the front section is very thick. So score it, I thought I would just score around here and snap it and it would be easy. Oh no, 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 I had to cut and then I had to sand all the way around. So yeah, it took a while. I didn't realize just how thick this front section is. The back is actually quite flimsy, but the front is rock hard. So it takes a while to actually trim it out and sand it all down to try and get smooth lines. Putting the window mask in, dead simple. The actual uh, window masks are pretty good. Sometimes they can be bang on, sometimes they can be complete disaster, but on this model, they weren't too bad. The ones in the corners can be a bit of a pain due to the, trying to lay a sticker up into a tight corner um, from that point of view but because we've got window uh, surrounds to go in you've got a margin of error you're not like you're just going to spray it and leave them as it is uh, again same with the front lights uh, you have this where is it you have a grill that goes over so again you don't have to get it perfectly into the uh, the lines either so it's not so much of a problem right all that's left now I've already cleaned it is to take it outside and spray it so after an hour or two, I have this. It's now backed in black. So basically I put four layers of red, then uh, two layers of white, and then two layers of black. And it came out okay. I've still got to remove the protective film. So let's do that. And then next we have to work on this. I've started on the back section. There's only a few bolts to connect it together. There's some lights to go in, and then the whole thing kind of gets bolted together. I was contacted by someone, I forget who it was, who said there's a tip to drill a hole through the center to actually attach it at the top as well because um, it flexed too much and this part of the body is super flimsy. 
all this front section is really strong, but this bit at the back is a bit flimsy and that's how it's attached. You, you cut the holes and then you slide it on. So I've drilled a hole for this that section there and then I will drill another one here and put another bolt in just to keep it nice and solid. Right, let's remove the film and keep going. So there we go, and we're gonna call that one not done. I'm <laughs> it's almost done. Uh, I'm just waiting on quite a few parts. For some reason, the posts seem to have gone crazy slow, and I'm waiting on loads of bits and pieces for it, as well as some other projects that are supposed to be coming in too. Uh, what did I think? It is stunning. I have to say, it is a good looking truck. Very scale and uh, just yeah very pretty now I went box art for the actual running one because this is the color that it actually comes in whereas the kit obviously comes in a different color but I just really like the red the contrast with the black uh, I did think about doing it a bit more like the Unimog color but um, yeah I wanted something a bit more vibrant uh, and things like that <sighs> body wise it's uh, it's actually a nice project to do it's not a difficult body to do. There was one modification that someone recommended doing up here. I highly recommend that. It's much stronger having the extra bolt up higher than everything being bolted down at the bottom that I covered before. Uh, one, <laughs> one thing, I have taken these rear lights out three times. So the things you need to know about those, they're angled. So the first thing I did was put it upside down. The next thing I did after that was I had to take it out again to change them up the other way, did that. Then I realized that there's some plastic perspex that goes inside here that the sticker goes onto. But in the manual, it doesn't actually tell you that. So I had to take them out to put the plastic in because the sticker wasn't sitting properly. It was just sitting on the actual holes. So it didn't wasn't lovely and flat. And then I found these two little plastic bits that I guess the feeling they've done afterwards. Um, so I had to take them out for a third time. So if you're doing your rear lights, make sure you get them up the right way for a start. Also the inside section has to be a certain way to get this till. So like the front section is tilted and the inside bit that goes in is tilted and then you have a bit of plastic and then you stick the light sticker onto that bit of plastic, perspex, whatever it is. So uh, yeah, don't do like I did and do it three times. There's four bolts for each one. So yeah, it takes a while. What's really nice as well is you just pull these two pins and then you just lift the front and then the whole thing opens up, making it super easy to actually get full access to everything, which I really like. This will be really good for cleaning and getting all the mud out and stuff like that. Um, when I did the paint job, I did a full paint job on it. I didn't just leave it red. I painted it all white and then I backed it in black as well. And I've also put reinforcements on all the bits and pieces. Um, just to do a real decent job of it because obviously this is going to get quite a workout So the extra paint also makes it a bit more rigid and it protects it a little bit more I've also picked up on order a Traxxas um, Receiver box Having it all out in the open is just asking for trouble. So I'm going to uh, retrofit a Traxxas a, a receiver box to it so that I'll have everything nice and waterproof Still waiting on the Fusion Hobby motor, still waiting on the bearings for the portal hubs to come. Um, from that point of view, what else? Uh, I am tempted, and this is screaming out, to do four wheel steer. 
The rear axle is exactly the same as the front and it has all the bolting positions to take the uh, steering mechanism and put them on the rear. And where the servo is mounted on top of the axle, you can do exactly the same on the rear axle as well. I think with clearance, clearance might be a bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, see that? You might have to modify. I think you'd probably have to go to a shorty pack and you'd have to modify the battery tray but you could then have massive four-wheel steering i'll look to see if i can actually get those parts i don't know i think it'd be quite difficult because there's quite a few different bits you need um, but if i can that would be a cool project so what we're going to do on the next video is i'm going to get all the parts in then i'm going to change everything and then we're going to take it out for a run and i'm going to put it against the trx4 and the cco2 now these are very different rigs but i thought it'd be kind of interesting because you'd be able to see a cco2 level of crawling then this and then the trx4 which is kind of known as being the best crawler you can get the, the TRX4 Sport. So there we go. So stay tuned for the next video. It won't be long. It's going to be as soon as all the parts arrive. We'll upgrade them and then we'll take it out and run it with the others. Thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. And I can highly recommend this kit. If you can find one in the UK, they're a little bit difficult. Uh, outside of the UK, it's probably a little bit easier. But uh, a beautiful looking. It's probably the best looking actual crawler that I have. It's way better than the uh, Traxxas Sport. Uh, it's for, I don't know, maybe, what do you think? This or my Defender body on my CCO1? Mm. Anyway, thanks so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.